Before we get into this shoot breakdown, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's been commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing. It means so much to me that people are supporting this new venture of mine on YouTube. And it's incredible to see when people message me on Instagram that they're learning from my videos. They're learning, you know, how to do something or something that I might have said just might have sparked something in their mind. And that's that in itself is phenomenal. So I've just turned up at my sister's cake baking workshop and we're on day one of two where we're going to be filming two separate films of her making two separate cakes. Krisha has her business called Creme de la Cakes. Make sure you check her out. She makes some amazing cakes. Like sometimes I see her designs, her outcomes of her cakes and I'm just like, how have you come up with that? It's incredible. The first thing that goes through my head when I think about filming with Krisha and filming her cake baking is high key lighting. So nice and bright with a little bit direction and just capturing the detail, whatever is gonna be doing on camera with specific lenses and all of that. If you don't want high key lighting and you want something a little bit more contrasty, then make sure you check out the other video I made for man-made furniture, which shows very directional, very moody lighting to still capture the details though. I just told Krisha, I'm gonna do her introduction. This is what she does. This is Krisha, this is Creme de la Cakes. Tell us what we're gonna be doing today. Um, so I thought it would be fun to film some sort of videos of me making handbags. Um, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with like... No one knows you, this is my channel. Okay, fine. Go on. If you don't know one now, you know that I love handbags. Um, so today we are recreating one of my favourite handbags. So I have um, wanted this bag for ages and I um, treated myself to it. So I thought, why not? turn it into a cake so this is the dior saddle oh my god why are you plugging this you you actually are an influencer <laughs> dior please sponsor me i don't want to use a big setup for this shoot because i'm going to be moving around a lot i need a lightweight setup i'm not even going to be on a shoulder rig so i'm just purely going to take the c200 off the actual base plate and move around all handheld and you know I've got the hand grip there that's going to help me do that so yeah super lightweight do me a favor mm -hmm. just bring the camera and film this last one please <laughs> if anyone who knows me I'm actually an idiot with tools and I had to get Richie to give me a proper run through of how to do everything this is actually the first time I've ever seen Russian Make, make something, if this is what you call making. DIY! Oh no. I'm actually making Krisha Yuan because I've done this about 15 times now. So, let's try and get it in this one. Um, this is the setup. I've got the house lights on currently because I want to show you what the difference is when we get to it. We've got my Aperture Nova over there. We've got my 120D Mark II over there with the optical snoot. And we've got my hair light up there, my 120D with the barn doors. Let me turn to this camera now i switched to my c200 now so you can see what house lighting looks like on carisha there's no control it's not very flattering and it's just a bit bland so we will turn the house lights off we'll come to my phone on the side link app and turn the aperture nova on now already you can see the difference between the house lights and this image it looks so much better and that's only just one light the next light we'll introduce is my hair light and that's just a subtle bit of separation between Krisha and the background. It's minuscule but there's just something in it that just creates that little bit of separation. Lastly, this is the last light. Now this is the optical snoot that's going to be playing a role here so keep an eye on the background and we'll flick it on and flick it off. So you see here, we've got a gobo in there that makes it look like there's a window coming in from the left side of frame. Now, realistically, there is no window. It's just a plain white wall and a couple of shelves. So it makes a massive difference and it makes it look super realistic. All right, I'm boring, Krisha. We'll just get into the video now. I apologize, I kind of really rushed through that last section, but I wanted to go into it a little bit more detail. So the reason we're going through a Lee 216 diffusion roll is to spread the light. Now. I am using the softbox attachment on the Aperture Nova, but that just sometimes doesn't give the spread of light that I'm after, and sometimes it's very harsh. So what this roll is doing, one, it's giving really nice gradations of light on the products, but then it's also creating the light fall off on Carisha as well. 
Okay, pause for two seconds because I didn't say something that's actually quite important about using the roller diffusion. What's actually happening here is the roller diff, the lead 216, is making my aperture nova light source larger, which means the shadows on Carisha will be a lot softer and roll off nicer than if I was just to use my nova through its softbox. The larger your source of light means the softer your shadows will be, and I'm trying to make my Nova as large of a light source as possible to create some really nice shadows on Carisha. What I didn't mention was that there's some white walls behind me, so the Nova light is going to be bouncing back into the shadow side, which is what I want to help to lift the shadows so it's not too contrasty as I'm creating that high key lighting. So whilst filming, I've uh, asked my mum to come along, who's here. She's come to help out her favourite child. My favourite child. Yeah, <laughs> I, am, I am definitely her favourite. So I've given my mum my Canon R5 to film some behind the scenes footage of me. And mum, show, show me your stance, show me your little rocking movement. Hold on one sec, show me again. <laughs> show me again. That's it, keep going. There we go. She's got the, lo she's got the movement on lock, look. Mum is a hairdresser and she's actually the reason I've been looking sharp during lockdown. Isn't it, Mum? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're just waiting for Carisha to stop being so slow. Just on a little bit of a break. Had some lunch, eaten some food, had some snacks. Carisha, how's today gone? Have you enjoyed your shooting experience with Rish and Pithwa? No, because you have to take everything a hundred times and it's annoying. I'm still learning how to YouTube. That's actually well harsh to me. We're not all Channel 4 experts like you. Did you like that subtle plug there? She's actually on Netflix as well. So that's pretty much it. That's the whole shoot, that's the whole breakdown of the lighting, the camera. The main lenses I've used on today's shoot have been the Canon 50mm 1.2 and the Sigma 35mm 1.4 art lens. And for tomorrow's shoot, it's pretty much gonna be the same setup, the same everything we're just gonna carry on going really. Karisha's just finishing off the last few bits of the Chanel bag. She's really busy right now. This is Oh yeah, sorry. This is how much I this is how much I know about brands. Um, this feels proper cringe and I don't really want to do this but if you did like this video let me know below no I don't want to say it Karisha. This <laughs> If you do want to see any other kind of videos that specifically go through something in particular. Get him, follow me! In particular, drop me a shout, let me know. And yeah, I am still aiming to try and post one video a week. So yeah. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. So, yeah. So yeah, Krisha, say bye. Bye everyone. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow.